Hi guys, Rachel B here. Thank you for joining me for a power to quickie, keep it short and sweet, 30 minutes. If you want to follow along with the playlist that I'm going to use, it's called Rachel B 30 minute power two on Spotify. We will get started in child's pose, please. Bring your toes to touch at the back of your mat. Send your knees out wide. Sink your hips towards your heels. And relax through your belly and all the way into your head. Take these first couple of moments just to ground yourself on your mat. With everything that's going on in the world, it can be really hard to calm your mind. Start to ignite your breath. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let go. One more like that. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. This time, inhale in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed. Exhale through your nose. You want to start to ignite a little bit more internal fire. Create your ujjayi breath. Invite a light constriction through the backside of your throat all the way into your vocal cords. Stay here for one more breath out. Inhale, tabletop. Pull your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. And just find some movement, whatever you need today. Cat cows are always there for you. Maybe you invite in a gaze over one shoulder to the next. Roll through your rib cage or head. Stretch out your wrists. Maybe even find a twist. Beautiful, guys. If you did take a moment for one side of your body, give yourself the next couple of breaths to match it on your opposite. And when you're ready, settle back into tabletop. Find stillness. Ground your left hand to the center of your mat. Inhale, sail your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Pull your right hand through to the opposite side of your space. Rest your shoulder and your cheek on your mat or the ground or your floor, whatever it's there for you. And then keep your hips lifted over your knees. Now, arm variations are always there for you. If you need a little bit more, you can slide your left hand forward or even take the half bind around your low back. Exhale, press into your left palm. Inhale, unwind, seal your right arm one more time and then find some movement, roll it through your wrist. All the way into your shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, tabletop, second side, right hand down. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Pull it all the way through. Kiss your shoulder and your cheek to your mat. Again, check in with your hips. Keep them stacked over your knees and level with one another. Even if you didn't take the arm variations on the first side, they're still there for you now. Exhale, press into your right palm. Inhale, unwind, left arm skywards. Find some movement. Wave at your cat. Maybe wave at the person walking across the street. Breathe in. Exhale, tabletop. Crawl your hands a little bit further forward. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, high plank. Straighten your legs, squeeze your hamstring towards the sky, and then draw your kneecaps up into your quads. Do be mindful that your shoulders are directly over your wrist. Keep your gaze up forward rather than look at your toes. There's a good chance you haven't gotten a pedicure lately. So your hands are a lot prettier. Take a breath in. Exhale, control all the way down to your stomach. There it is. Inhale, low cobra. Press the shoelace out of your feet down. Hover your chest. Take the wrinkles out of the back side of your neck. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Inhale, press up high plank or tabletop. Choose your intensity. Exhale, downward at facing dog. Nice work, everybody. You guys all know the drill, so if you want to find some movement in down dog, it's there for you. Pedal out, shift, sway. And then settle in. Sink your heels down. Pull your tailbone skywards. Hollow out your belly. Head falls between your biceps. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. Let me hear you all the way through the camera. Breathe in. Let go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Travel to the top of your mat. Take your feet hip distance apart, maybe even wider. Take up a lot of space. I'm sure you've got a lot of room in your kitchen to take it up. Deep bend through your knees. Crown of your head falls heavy towards the earth. Love the option for movement. Take an inhale. Exhale, release your hands towards the earth. Toe heel your feet either together or just hip distance apart. And then slowly roll up through your spine. How slow can you go? There's no race here. Inhale, mountain pose. Glide your shoulder blades away from your ears. Fingertips pull towards the sky and then start to spiral your pinky fingers in towards one another. Take a breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane, torso, sink into your heels. 
Let your weight really rock backwards. Take a peek at your toes. If you can't see them, give them a little dance. Feel a little wiggle on there. And then pull your shoulder blades onto your back to broaden through your collarbones. Exhale, get a centimeter deeper. Inhale, vertical twist. Stand tall, straighten your legs. Twist to your right. Square your hips with the top of your mat or whatever is in front of you. Pull your right hip forward, your left hip backwards. Breath in. Exhale, chair airplane torso. Unwind where you came from. Inhale, vertical twist, opposite side. Straighten your legs. Square your hips. Soften your shoulders down. Breathe in. Exhale, chair airplane. One wind one more time. Inhale, mountain pose with a back bend. Shine your heart towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Dive through. Breathe in, halfway lift, pull your shoulder blades on your back. Exhale, forward fold. We'll flow our sun A. Inhale, mountain pose, root to rise. Exhale, chair airplane, get low. Inhale, vertical twist to your right. Exhale, chair airplane, unwind. Inhale, twist left, stand tall. Exhale, chair airplane. Inhale, mountain back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, find length. Exhale, fold one more time through. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair airplane. Inhale, vertical twist to your right. Exhale, chair airplane. Inhale, to your left. Exhale, chair airplane. Inhale, mountain back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Know that you have options here. You're always welcome to take it from your knees, skip it completely, or take it from your toes. Yeah, my lady's got plenty of jam examples. Downward at facing dog. Take a breath in. Settle in. Fill up. Give back. Inhale, sail your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, rock forward as if you're coming to high plank. Use your core to keep your knee hovered off of your mat. Inhale, three leg rise back up. Exhale, low lunge, land lightly. Inhale, simple twist, sail your right arm towards the sky. Stay grounded through your left, but rather than resting into your hand, can you spider tip your fingers? You even play around with pulling them all the way off of your mat. Hug through your core. Stay here for a breath in. Exhale, vertical twist. Use the core engagement you just found to rise up. Yeah, it's tricky. You're in your house, so if you fall, no one's going to see you. Keep your hips square and then commit into your lunge. No one's there to keep you committed into this. You got it. Sink a little bit lower. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Spiral yourself all the way open. Keep your hips, your shoulders facing the same direction. Sink into your front lunge, then glue into your heel to help incorporate your glutes in this movement. Take a breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach as far forward as you can. Tick tock your arms. Roll your heart up towards the sky. Use your tricep, your forearm, whatever you can connect into your inner thigh to press your knee open. Beautiful ladies, stay in your extended side angle. Breathe out. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, your bottom hand. You got it. Really hug through your core, belly button pulls towards your spine. Notice if you started to collapse towards your mat, rather roll up towards the sky. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, skandasana into your back leg. Bend deeply through your left knee, straight in your right. Really press your inner thighs away from one another, but know if it feels better to take this as a side lunge, you're always welcome to come up a little bit higher. Take an exhale. Inhale, low lunge. Crawl yourself to the top of your mat. Exhale, standing splits. Rock forward. Squeeze your back foot off of the earth. Dial your pinky toe down to keep your hips level with your mat. Now, there's no need to see me up here on the screen. Relax your head. Send your gaze past your knee. Take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Step backwards. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or just downward facing dog. It's all yours. Second side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose and pause. Again, contract through your core. Pull your shoulders all the way over your wrist. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Step all the way through. Inhale, simple twist. Right hand down, left arm high. If you didn't give your cat a wave earlier, now's your chance to do it. If you don't have cats, I just got a puppy. Her name's Luna. Give Luna a wave. 
Take a breath in. Exhale, vertical twist. Use your core, rise up. Keep your hips square. Pull into your front lunge. Notice if you start to grip your mat with your toes, let them have space to breathe. Exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, spin open. Plug into your front lunge. Sass your back hip down away from your rib cage to find more space through both side bodies. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle, reach and tick tock. Press into your inner thigh, work your knee open towards the pinky toe side of your foot. Already engage your core. This time around, you know where you're going, so you've got some advantage here. Take an exhale. Inhale, reach your bottom arm up forward. Again, belly button pulls towards your spine. Imagine if I had a string there and I could draw it all the way through. Breathe in. Exhale, skandasana. Bend deeply into your opposite leg. Straighten your front. Check out your toes and your knees. Do be mindful that they're in line with one another. So if your toes start to spiral up, so do your knees. Breath out. Inhale, low lunge, crawl yourself forward. Exhale, standing splits, rock into your front leg. Squeeze your back foot off. Again, I'm not doing anything crazy on the screen, so relax your head, send your knees past your knee. Beautiful adjustment. Take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge, control your step backwards. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or just downward at facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. We will flow our sun V. Inhale, sail your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, right arm high. Exhale, vertical twist. Breathe and reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, skandasana, back leg. Inhale, low lunge, crawl to the top of your mat. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Breathe and high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, love the options. Inhale, sail your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, left arm. Exhale, vertical twist. Breathe and reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, skandasana, back leg. Breathe and low lunge, top of your space. Exhale, standing split. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe and high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, both sides. Inhale, right leg. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe and simple twist, right arm high. Exhale, vertical twist. Stay committed, guys. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, standing splits. Take your breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward at facing dog. The last side, inhale, left leg. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, left arm. Exhale, vertical twist. Breathe and reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, skandas in the back of your space. Inhale, low lunge, fall forward. Exhale, standing split. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog. Love the options to skip. Exhale, downward it. facing dog. Take an inhale. Allow your exhale. Stay for one more breath in. Exhale, release your knees to your mat. Come on to your back. So you got a little core action coming your way. You can never get a power two without it. Lay all the way down. Reverse it. Tabletop is where we will meet. Bring your knees directly over your hips. Parallel your shins with your mat. Even you guys up there, aim for the 90-degree bend. I'm watching you. Inhale your fingertips behind your ears. 
I exhale, yogi bicycles, right shoulder, left knee, inhale, down. Exhale, opposite side, you're off on your own. Now that there's really no need to rush this, the faster you go, in fact, the longer I'm going to keep you there. Got that? Stick with it. Seal your low back down. Keep your elbows wide. Ooh, they be shaking. I love it. Pull both shoulder blades off the earth rather than just one. We won't be here for very long. We'll keep it short and sweet. So really get the work out of this that you can. Take it two more on each side. Even yourself off. After your last one, give your knees a quick squeeze. Reset your spine. And then when you are ready, plant the soles of your feet flat to your mat. Fingertips reach towards your heels. Tuck your tailbone under first. Feel your low back glued down. Inhale, bridge up pose. Press your tailbone skywards. Lengthen through your quads. Feel the entire backside body engage. Invite space between your chin and your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly roll it down. Once your hips hit that mat, windshield wipe your knees side to side. Reset your spine. Keep this movement as you draw your knees into your chest. And start to shift forward back. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Gain a little bit of momentum to make your way back into downward facing dog. We've got just a little bit of work left. Feeling good? Ready for more? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Downward at facing dog. Breathe in. Reset. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, simple twist, right arm. Exhale, vertical twist. Here's a change. Inhale, exalted warrior. Glide your right hand on your left arm high. Slide your shoulder away from your ear to make space to continue to twist, but also to start in a back, invite in a back bend. Excuse me. You got it, guys. Stay in your lunge. Breathe in. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Keep the twist and the length you just created. Hinge forward. Nice. Ani has a great example back here to come down to your knee, and so does Libby. Stay lifted. She's what you need. If you have your hands together, really work them into your heart space rather than your armpit. Take an inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. Ground both hands to the inside of your toes. Dance your foot to the top corner of your mat. Relax your back knee down. Check out your front knee. If you notice your knee has started to rock past your toes, take up a little bit more space. Breathe out. Inhale, low lunge, rebuild up onto your palms. Stay for an exhale. Breathe in, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, standing splits. Here's another change. Exhale, Shiva squat. Chamber your lifted leg into your opposite knee. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Breathe out. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Last one. Inhale, standing splits. Have some fun with it. Exhale, Chaturanga. Try the jump back. Fall on your face. Nobody's at home to see you. It's fine. Downward facing dog. Nice. Second side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, three leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, left arm. Exhale, vertical twist. Here's your first change. Inhale, exalted warrior. Left hand down, right arm pulls towards the sky. This time your left shoulder will slide away from your ear. Stay into your lunge. It's really easy when to creep out. Press into your heel. Breathe in. Exhale, revolve at crescent lunge. Keep your twist hinged forward. Find a little bit more length. Even if you didn't release your back knee down on the first side, great option to do so here. With each inhale that you take, can you find more length through your spine? Pull the crown of your head forward. Maybe even turn the corners of your mouth up. Thanks, guys. Breathe in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Both hands to the inside of your front toes. Dance your toes forward. 
in places of stillness, it's really easy to let tension flood through your body. So notice those areas, your shoulders, but also check in with your jaw and your hands. Send your breath there. Allow yourself to soften in. Breathe out. Inhale, low lunge, slowly rise up. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe and reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. We did it on the first side, so we gotta match it here. Exhale, Shiva, squat, chamber your knees together. Get low, feel a little booty burn going on. Exhale, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, get low. One more standing splits. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, chaturanga. If you didn't play with it on the first side, give it a go here. We meet in a downward facing dog. Full breath in. Even breath out. Inhale, sail your right leg high. Exhale, half at pigeon. Pull your right knee in line with your right wrist crease. Check that your hips are still at the top of your mat and then settle in as you need. Know that figure four is always a great option. Very similar stretch, just looks a little bit different. Know that you've created this time for you, so take what you need. If you again start to feel tension rise up, come back to your breath. Sleeping pigeons, please rise. Tuck your back toes, crawl up onto your palms. Inhale, sail your right leg high. Find some movement, bend, open twist. Sit shama shake. If you need a heart opener, you know that you can always flip. Downward facing dog. Second side, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. As you settle into the second side, keep in mind that your body's not made evenly. Rather than trying to find the same picture, can you work towards a similar sensation? Start to rebuild, work to your palms, tuck your back toe, inhale, lift your left leg high. Find a little bit of movement, downward facing dog. Take your deepest, fullest breath in. Exhale, release your knees to your mat, come to a seat. Extend your legs out in front of you, inhale, reach your arms above you. Exhale, seated, forward fold. Press your tailbone backwards, work your heart forward, find a little bit more length in through your spine. Exhale. Inhale, slowly roll up through your spine and make your way all the way onto your backs. Once you're on the earth, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a little bit of love. You know you deserve it. Exhale, supine twist. Let your knees drop to the left side of your body. Snag your hips on top of one another. It's okay. None of us know our rights and left. Soften through your shoulders. Find a release into your chest. Inhale, unwind. Reset your spine. Exhale, knees fall to the opposite side. If you have not done so already, allow gravity to start to take over. You know, feel yourself given. You even start to shut down your eyes. If your kids are running around the house, they'll be there when you're done. Inhale. 
Inhale back into center. Happy baby's pose. Capture your feet, calves, hamstrings, whatever you need to take a hold of so that your tailbone and your head stay connected down. And now have some fun with it. You're probably alone while you're doing this time around, so sway side to side. Then extend through one leg and the next. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Give yourself a final squeeze. Thank yourself for taking this time out of your day. Breathe in. Exhale into Shavasana. Take up space. Close your eyes. I'll guide you out in just a couple of moments. Slowly, start to deepen your breath. Allow movement to flood through your body, however that calls to you. Reawaken yourself. If you have the gift of time, I invite you to stay here for as long as you need. But whenever you are ready, inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Not any moans, groans, sighs, yawns you might have been holding in. Exhale, roll to your side. Take your time, but when you're ready, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Your eyes can remain closed. Inhale, sweep your arms up over your head. Bring your palms to touch. Exhale your thumbs into your heart space. The love, the light in me is so honored and inspired and grateful I'm able to connect with the love, light inside each and every one of you. To see our practice, we bow forward. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining, guys. Bye. <laughs>